All right, Shalom. With real Hebrew Israelites come to you week in and week out. Prophet Son, return of the Most High and His Heavenly Son. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Bukatash. Double honors to Apostles out of New York, Great Millstone, GMS honors to all Akim around the planet. Lifting up the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Uriah from Great Millstone, Chicago. I'm just going to go do a you know quick little lesson. You know, didn't have anything uh, in stone, but uh, through the Spirit, we're going to go ahead on and. Uh, um, jump in there, okay? And I just put in the real Hebrew Israelites and put it in Google, and you'll see uh, a couple of the, just like this SPLC mis dis disinformation is gonna be the first thing to pop up to send niggas off, right? And the disinformation is radical black, well, radical Hebrew Israelites looking as you know. And then you said, uh, what we know about the end from uh, what you know about black Hebrew Israelites insider, the Jew three project, who are the Hebrew Israelites. You'll see black Hebrew Israelites versus uh, something. Um, and then you see undeniable full color evidence. You see a, a whole bunch of different articles and so forth. The thing is, if you were actually searching for the truth, you was actually searching for um, the understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And you're like Googling and you're reading the scriptures and you're trying to get research. You would, it's no, matter of fact, let me get a scripture real quick. Okay. The scripture says you are inexcusable, man. And there's not, no Israelite is going to be able to say he, they have an excuse. Romans 2 and 1. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man. Whosoever thou art that judges, wherefore when thou judges a, another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judges doest the same things. All right, um, the first part of that, therefore thou art inexcusable. You are without excuse. The Lord says he deals with each and every one of his sons. All right, he talks to his children, man. He tells us, matter of fact, let me give you a quick precept to back that up. Um, he says he talks to us all, man. Uh, and, and through the men of the Lord, through the scriptures, through the prophets. All right, this is Jeremiah 44 and 4. How be it, I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early, coming in the beginning of time and sending them saying oh do not this abominable thing that i hate all the way until now all right and only the hopeful righteous elect is listening to the spirit of yahweh bashem yahweh shai all the rest are not listening because they're doing what they want to do their own philosophies because they want to be feel good about uh you know themselves and how how they moving and how they dealing they don't they not they don't care about the truth they don't care about the gospel they don't care about yahweh bashem yahweh shai Bashem Rachakodash. Okay? They care about making money. They care, like the scripture says uh, uh, about this parable of the sower. They say they care, they, the, the cares of this world will come and get them and, and, they'll, and, and cause them not to do what they need to do for the most high. Okay? Um, yeah, so uh, it, it's, it's clearly evident. Matter of fact, uh, I'll go back to that Romans. It's in there. Our Lord said it's clearly seen the Godhead. All right, it's clearly seen it through nature, through life, through the animals, to the birds, to the bees, to the trees. All right. Let's see if I can find that real quick. This is, uh, yeah, Romans 1 and 19. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and godhead so that they are without excuse ain't no excuses man all right ain't no more excuses man it makes me think of a lesson me and my brother was dealing with a little while ago uh all right this is um, Acts 17:30, and at, the, at this time, let's go. Let's get a little meat off that bone. All right, um, Acts 17:29. For as much then are we the offspring of the Most High, we ought not to think that the, the God hid us like unto gold or silver or stone graven by arts and man's device. And at times, it's so like yeah. And at times of this ignorance, God winked at. But now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. See, he said at one point he used to wink at it. What you see that wink means he overlooked. He didn't whip that ass. He showed mercy to overlook, take no notice of, not attend to, not punish. 
Okay? See, now he said, no, I'm punishing now. Fuck that shit. Get your shite together. All right? And the Most High is calling all men of the Lord to get their shite together. Period. All right? And there's no more excuses. And, and, and it's no... Look. It's 2022. You can go put... Watch this. I, I already showed you Black Hebrew Israelites. Now watch this. Uh... Uh, Jesus Real Color Alright And then even Esau's trying to get him darker For then that blind hair blue eyed And they show you that uh, uh, Yeah you see that Jesus wasn't white he was a brown skin Middle Eastern yeah fuck that Middle Eastern shit Making him think it's like Arabic type shit No but there, there's a dialogue already going out there showing iconoclasm going into the true color of Hamashiach, Yahubashim Yahushai. And that's the point. The point is there's so much information showing you the truth and debunking the bullshit of these lies of Esau Edom. No one should, you, you, everybody should be waking up right now. Jake should be waking up in masses. Jake should be waking up in droves. Jake should be waking up in, 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 in groves right now. Okay, but the hopeful righteous elect are waking up and the wicked are not. All right, because the Lord, Lord, matter of fact, I got another precept. This is Isaiah. All right, he said the rest were blinded. If you don't, if the Lord, uh, if you, the most high, not going, if he's not dealing with you, he's not dealing with you. This is Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed. But perceive not Make the heart of this people fat And make their ears heavy And shut their eyes Lest they see with their eyes And hear with their ears And understand with their heart And convert and be healed Alright Then he said How long Lord And he said Until uh, the cities be wasted Without inhabitant Until the houses without man And the land be utterly desolate And the Lord hath removed men far away and, and there be a great forsaken In the midst of the land but yet in it shall be a tenth, and it shall return. That's the remnant. And it shall be eaten as a till tree and as an oak which, whose sustenance is in them when they cast their leaves. So the holy seed shall be the sustenance thereof. So we men of the Lord, the real true men of the Lord, we're dealing. We're waking up our people. We, we, we're, uh, we're out here laboring. All right? And that's how we're supposed to. That's how you know who's the real men versus the fake men. Okay? But it's, uh, it's clearly seen now. That's why, matter of fact, I got another precept. All right. This is uh, Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time, then now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer when we believe. This is it. Is this high time to wake up? High time to get down? High time to do the work of the Lord? Okay. High time to believe, high time to come into this truth, high time to ask the most high for uh, deliverance and power and uh, a way out of this hell hole. A hell hole. All right. Excuse me. Uh, this is Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All right. And this is the end. And the, the prophecies are singing right now. They're not singing. They're singing. Okay. So it's up to the, the real men of the Lord, the real women of the Lord to wake up and come, into, come in line, come in order and do the things that the Lord will say do. All right. Oh boy, suck it! Right, but it, this this is, is is prime time right now. It's like you said, high time to wake up out of sleep. All right, and if people can't get it, it's because they're under a delusion, like the scripture says right here, Second um, Thessalonians two and eleven. For this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion that they should be believe a lie. All right, that they might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. All right, but we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. 
So there's going to be some people who are going to be uh, accounted to truth salvation because they believe and they teach this truth. All right. And then there's some who they're going to have strong delusions where they're going to believe every single philosophy of Esau Edom, every philosophy of the so-called white man, every single philosophy of the, the, the planet. They're going to be listening to that and they're not going to be listening to the most high. All right. Here's another one. Isaiah 66 and 4, I also will choose their delusions and will call their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. So either he, that's why he said, my sheep shall hear my voice. After two or three admonitions, reject. He said, after two, man. I, we, once we say, hey, how about Shemesh Shai with the Israelites? Huh? I don't know about that. I'm like, yeah. Well, this is what it is. So forth, what the bam, what the bam. If they can't get it after two admonitions, man, we moving on. Okay? The Most High is not saving every Israelite right now. The, um, Israel, the, the, uh, if you can't get this, that means you're of the reprobate. Right? You're either the righteous or you're of the reprobate. So what are you made of? What are you a part of? What are you? Who, who do you serve? Choose you this day whom you will serve. All right? So... I'm not gonna make this long. I just want to get an edifying lesson. How is it? Man, the day is far spent. Let me see if I can get that uh, far spent. Uh, ooh, fast down my. Uh, ooh, far spent. Yep, Romans 13, 19, 13, 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So it's time. Men of the Lord, this is the time that we've been waiting for. You know Satan's coming harder and harder now. So we go harder and harder for the truth. All right? Those who haven't been going through shit, get, hey, hey, gird up your loins like a man. And let's just do this work of the, uh, an evangelist. And make sure you know. Uh, make sure our calling the election is sure. So, you know, it's high time. It's evident the time is now for those who are of the hopeful righteous elect. Hopefully, this has been edifying to the spirit and party. How about Shemir Shabbat Shem the Kakadash? Devil honest apostles out in New York, Great Millstone GMS. Honest all, I can run the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. With that, we'll see Shalom and above of all.